Hello, this is Tara Bridget, Confidence Coach for Women, here to really help you get your shit together. Today, I want to focus on four things that I need your ass to stop doing before you leave 2016 and before you enter into 2017, okay? I'm going to keep it all the way real, right? I'm going to be 100%, which is me anyway. <laughs> so I might cuss a little bit, but that's because I love you and that's because I want to get the point across to you. That's just some shit that you need to stop doing. If you want to get your shit together, right? If there are some areas in your life that you need to get together, this is going to be the video for you. Okay, this video ain't for everybody, man. Okay, it's for certain people. I had to even write it down so I can make sure, you know, I'm giving it to you. So first and foremost thing that you need to stop doing before you step into 2017 is that you have to absolutely stop putting self-care off. Stop putting that shit last on your list. Okay, you need to pencil that shit into your calendar. Right? You need to start telling people no. Right. You need to start making more time for yourself. Start making more time for your purpose. Right. Start making time, even if it means meal prepping or exercising. Right. Maybe you've been putting that shit off because you're like, I don't feel like it. I'm not motivated. Right. There's a difference between motivation and discipline. Motivation is I don't feel like doing this. Discipline is like, I'm still going to get my behind up and I'm going to exercise or I'm going to meal plan or I'm going to still work on my business or my purpose or I'm still going to, you know, do X, Y, and Z, right? There is a difference between the two, right? Before you come into 2017, you need to start looking into doing some discipline so that you can be more consistent when it comes to self-care. And if I'm talking to you, you know exactly what I'm trying to say, which brings me up to number two. Thing that you need to stop doing you need to stop feeding your damn emotions and i mean literally and i mean figuratively stop when you are feeling negative and down or depressed right or resisting things that are going on instead of you actually facing something so you can fix it or dealing with something so you can heal it stop eating the unhealthy shit right Give up the fast food. As I, I said in my one of my previous webinars and I tell my clients, you want to vibrate at a high level. When you vibrate at a high level, you attract new opportunities, you attract new experiences, and you attract abundance and prosperity and love, right? Because love is the highest frequency and vibration, which I was just um, talking with my Magnetic Whitman Bootcamp members about, right? Love is all the way at the top, right? If you think about it up here at the top, at the bottom, the negativity, um, right? There's love and the opposite of love is fear, right? And down there with fear is anxiety, that's depression, that's that resistance, that's sadness, that's suffering, that's struggling, right? But up here where God is, when you look above, when you, even if you stretch your hands up, there's a place of surrender, there's a place of letting go um, at that place in Right. Sometimes when we are resisting that place and don't want to go in that space or go in that place and you know who you are, if I'm talking to you, because you've been feeling some type of way for a, for a minute now. And oftentimes we resort to negative behaviors. One of the most prominent ones um, that women resort to is eating unhealthy. I know because I did it and my ass be steady gaining weight. <laughs> right. And so I broke that pattern. Right. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to break that pattern. Stop feeding your emotions in a negative way. The third one is for you to stop shrinking. Stop playing small. Stop downplaying your gifts, your talents, your strengths, your worthiness, and all that. Stop it. Cut that shit out. We're not taking that into 2017. And last but not least, number four, stop and lying to yourself constantly lying to yourself that oh i love him or he loves me right stop lying to yourself about you know your weight and your body girl it's a lie stop lying to yourself saying oh i can't afford this or afford that you afford what you want to afford let's let's be clear about that right so stop lying to yourself i'm unworthy i don't deserve i'm lacking stop fucking lying to yourself okay you are worthy of beautiful and amazing if you want to step your game up please make sure you join my born fierce boot camp UnleashYourFears.com slash camp. We start December 12th.